Hello, my brothers and sisters, fellow Akatamansonians, my countrymen and women, ladies and gentlemen. I'm happy to confirm that I have submitted my letter to the General Secretary of the National Democratic Congress, confirming my decision to contest for the position of the flag bearer for the NDC when the party opens nominations later this year. In coming to this firm decision, I have pondered deeply and soberly on the socioeconomic and political landscape of our country today, vis-a-vis -vis the clear path we had started to build aimed at positioning Ghana as a true middle-income country by modernizing our dilapidated social and economic infrastructure and gradually inculcating in the Ghanaian a sense of patriotism, self-belief, and commitment to a one Ghana agenda. I've taken into consideration the groundswell of support, the never-ending calls and encouragement from a large section of our party elders, members of our party, supporters, and Ghanaians from diverse backgrounds. I have prayed diligently about the task ahead, and I believe I owe a duty to God and my country to take our great party back into government, to right the wrongs of the past, and to put an end to the cries of the people under the current dispensation. The 2020 election presents our party, the NDC, with a great opportunity to offer yet again visionary leadership driven by a commitment to create opportunities for all our people, not just a few. Our collective victory in 2020 will end the increasing hardships, expand the base of our economy, create more sustainable jobs, ensure shared prosperity for all, and pursue good governance including peace, unity, and security. As a servant leader, I have listened with deep respect to the elders of our party, to members of our party, and Ghanaians from all walks of life. And I'm honored to avail myself for truthful, transparent, selfless, unifying, and dedicated service to the National Democratic Congress. And above all, to the good people of Ghana. Devil, devil.